In this video, we'll demonstrate traditional SQL injection. We'll do this using Foundstone's Hack Me Bank, which is basically a purposely vulnerable web application meant to teach people about web application security. So the core problem with SQL injection is that the programmer trusts some sort of input provided by the user. And so we'll show how this can be a problem by gaining unauthorized access to the application. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is to figure out if the application is taking any user input and then directly providing it to dynamically generated SQL queries. And so usually the login page is a pretty good candidate for this because it has to accept the username and password or something like that. So what we'll do to test for this is enter a single single quote. So uh, we'll put a single quote into the username field and you see that we get this error message back um, which is very indicative of kind of classic SQL injection. So what happens on the back end is that the web application generates uh, a SQL query and it requests some information from the database and passes it on through the SQL connector um, and it get ex gets executed. So the SQL query might look something like this. Um, you know, select star from users where username equals whatever the user provi provided username is and password equals whatever the user provided password is. And so when we make this query, if we get a response back, well, then we know we have a user with the username of whatever the user provided and the password of whatever the password provided. And so um, that kind of makes sense. And we can, if we get a, a return value from that, then that means there must be a user and that user must be authenticated. But this is where SQL injection comes in. So now what we can do here is, is since whatever input provided by the user is just kind of placed into the SQL query, uh, what we can do is actually terminate the previous single quote in the query and then start to rewrite the SQL injection. So here we'll just do uh, a single quote or one equals one uh, and end the request with the semicolon and then put two dashes to comment out the rest. And so now what this is going to do is it's going to result in a true statement because one is always going to equal one. And so if we paste this into the username field, that's going to be passed on to the backend SQL database. The SQL database is going to return true and we'll log in. So that's SQL injection. Thanks for watching.